Hi. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. So please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Microsoft apps on your um, laptops or desktop using um, your Microsoft Office 365 license. So to actually install these apps, what you need to do, first of all, you need to sign in to Microsoft Office. So let me just sign in to Microsoft Office using Nora Jones's account. So click next and then enter your password and just click sign in. So I'm going to skip this for 14 days. Yes. Okay, after signing in, what you actually see is on your screen is you have you can see you have the option to just click on install office. So but if you click on install office, you have a drop down which says um, office apps, then it's, it's going to include Outlook, OneDrive for business and more. But I also have the other install option. So here we can decide to select a different language or install other apps available with your subscription. So let me just click on this and see what it gives us. So I'm going to skip this again for 14 days. So here we have, you see here we are under my account and under my account I have some other options like my personal info, subscription, security apps and apps uh, permission. So here I'm actually interested in apps and devices. So click on apps and devices. So in app, uh, apps and devices, you see we have, um, first we have the Office and we have the Skype for business. But if I install the Microsoft Office, it's going to actually include the Skype, here you can see, and also the Teams as well. So we also have the option to actually choose a 64-bit version or a 32-bit version. And also we have the language, so you can select your language. Um, probably if you live in different country, like I live in Belgium, I can decide to select the Netherlands for um, if the user is actually a Dutch user or if I only speak the Dutch language I can only select the Netherlands but I'm going to select the English which is for the United States so with standard English and here we have the 64-bit version or we have the 32-bit version so let me just leave it for the 64-bit version and install Office so it's saying now which what do you want to do you want to set up just click run So if you are the owner of this um, computer, definitely you may have the admin right to install um, an office on that um, computer. But if you are not the owner of that computer or you are just an ordinary user, you will need an admin uh, credentials to actually install um, office apps on your computer. So let me just actually enter the name that will have the right to install these apps. So click yes. So you see we are getting things ready. So right now you can see that Office apps is being downloaded from the internet because uh, the file is actually, um, is, is, I think it's more than one gigabyte, which will of course will be downloaded first of all to your computer and then the installation will um, continue. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pause this video, not to make this video very long. So after the installation has been completed, then I'll come back again and show you the final process. So when Office, um, the, when installation completes, you receive uh, a notification that your installation is finished. Your Office product is now completely, completely installed. So let me just minimize um, this. And um, okay, let me just cancel this. So let's go to our start menu here. And here you can see we have the Skype for Business. We have the Excel. We have Access. And if I scroll down, we have. Uh, let me just scroll down a little bit here. We have the Office, which has been installed. We have the OneNote. We have the PowerPoint, and as well we have. Uh, let me just try to. We have the Word document. So let me just open Word document. You can see the Office has been completely, completely installed, and this um, license is actually. This Office is actually licensed to Nora Johnson. So if I click, click close, accept, and if I go to file here. And I click uh, under my account. 
you can see that the user's account, which is of course is Nora Johnson, because I'm using Office 365, I can decide that as well to actually sign out of Nora or switch account and assign this license, this um, office to someone else. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. By subscribing to my YouTube channel you always encourage me to create more video. And so please oh, don't forget to also click the like button and also leave a comment um, behind if this video has been a, of, of great help to you. So goodbye and see you next time.